tonight with us and the first couple tonight are going to play on Bullseye. Two fellas we've got, Don McGee and Jeff Thompson from Time Tees. Make them nice and welcome. <laughs> How are you boys? Hello Don. Hello, Jim. Nice to see you. And Jeff. Hello, Jim. How are you boys? Let's Fine, this smart outfit that, isn't it? Don, what do you do for a living, young sir? Uh, I work in a bus depot. In the bus depot? Do yeah. you drive the buses? You're a labourer. Well, well, tell us what's a labourer doing in a bus? What, what sort of work do you do? Is yeah. it maintenance? Clean up after the fitters, you know, general dog's body. Ah, I know what you, you mean. Have, what's, what's your wife do? She works in a bookies. In a bookies? Yeah. In a betting shop? Yeah. yeah. Good. And uh, have you any family? No. No, oh, so all the slips will be in the betting shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, isn't it? Come on, Jeff, what do you do, young sir? I'm a civil servant. Civil, and what department are you in, Jeff? Department of Industry. Tell me, what do they, what do, they do there? I mean, in up there, because you need it up there, don't you, in, in the North East? Yeah, I work in a regional development grants office. Um, we give out grants to companies who manufacture. It's, uh, it's, as it's, as it's an aid, is it, it to help them? It's an aid to help them expand or to, to create yeah. jobs. That's yeah. the idea. And are you so, married? Yes, I am. You Any family, Jeff? No, not yet. So that's, you've not been married long, either of you, then? Eight yeah. years on Tuesday. Really? Yeah. Eight, well, eight, and yourself, Don? Eight years. About, about, have you got your own houses? Yes. Good. You might just win something for your houses tonight. We hope you do very well anyway. Nice to have you both with us. Jeff, off you go. And Don, thank you very thank much. You. Make it nice. <laughs> right. We've got uh, two lads here now from Granada Land. The brothers, Ron and Eddie Story. Let's make them nice and welcome. Come on, Ron. <laughs> Yeah. All right, nice yeah. to see you. That's a nice shirt you've got on there, yeah. isn't it? It's very yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you brothers, boys? Is that right? That's right. right. Yeah. Brothers. And you're from Stockport. That's right. Yeah. yeah. What do you do for a living, Ron? Um, in the plumbing and eating trade. Oh. You really? Self-employed? Self-employed. Yeah. Partnership. Oh yes, yeah. with not with not with oh, any, no, no, with no. someone else. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's very posh in Stockport, isn't it? Uh, well, it can be. Do you ever go to the posh houses? Uh, well, funny, uh, my brother lives in the posh area. Oh, uh, I see. You are the upmarket end right. of the family area, are you? Cheshire. Oh, you're in, in Cheshire, yeah. In Cheshire. Stockbroker belt. Stockbroker yeah. belt, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have grapes on the sideboard, there's nobody ill, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're married as well, and you work in a bank, is that right? That's right, yes. And yeah. which bank's that? It's the Univers well, University of Manchester. It's, um, I can't tell you the bank, of course. No, you mustn't. It's no. Too, uh, have you got a flexible friend? That's right, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's fascinating is that because they do have banks on the campuses, don't they? That's right, yes, don't yes. They? yes. All, have all these the students got a lot of money. Um, they don't do too badly. On the grounds? Badly, no. That's um, fine. Still manage to get, find, find money find... for a pint. Yeah, yeah, the old pint, that's yeah. right. Two lads from Lancashire, hope you do well tonight. I'm not too biased, but uh, don't let us down, will you? Off yeah, you go, right. Eddie and Ron. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got a couple from, uh, from Central Television Land here. Well, they, they get the Central Television programmes. We'll find out where they're from. It's Joe Meller and Dorothy George. And here they are. <laughs> how are you, Dorothy? Are you all right? Thank you. Nice to see you. And Joe, oh, how are you? All right? Yeah. Lovely. That was a nice, confident walk on, Dorothy. That was lovely, that. <laughs> and this is, this is son-in-law and mum-in-law, isn't That's it? Right. Right. Yeah. And, and Dorothy, you, you, were, you were married to... Eric. To, good. That's very good, that. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we are now. She's married to Eric. <laughs> There's not a lot we can say about that. What does Eric do, Dorothy? He's a clergyman. Is he really? It, what's it like being a, the wife of a clergyman? It's the first one we've had on, Dorothy, I must say. Well, I suppose it's the same as being the wife of anybody. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> well, I was expecting some great revelation there about what it was like. Is his lifestyle different? Man, he'll only work one day a week, won't he? Just on some. <laughs> I'll bet they all say that to you, don't they? Working one day a week. Is he, is he a busy man going around? Yes. In, have, has he got a big parish? No. Not a big one? No, it's just a village. Just a village. Is, is he the man they all come and confess to yes. and talk to about That's the problems? Right. 
Do they talk to you about the problems? Yes. Do they? Do you find that you're a sort of a Marge Proops of the village? Well, as I'm a marriage counsellor. Really? Yes. Sir. You try and sort the marriages out, do you? Not really. No. <laughs> Very good. Now, Joe, you were married, of course, to Dorothy's daughter. That's right. right. Quick story, how did you meet? I met in a youth club at uh, Oslo Wood House, like, and we were playing pool at the time. Yeah. And but somebody, you and... You and you, me and my mates, like. You, yeah. And somebody lifted a skirt at the back. Really? And uh, she just turned around and smacked me straight across the face. She thought it was you <laughs> yeah. who lifted the skirt up? Yeah. And it wasn't, of course. No. No. So what you did, you got a licence for it and then you, you can just carry on now, you do what you want now, can't you? You're married. We hope you, you, you remain happily married and you don't have to do any marriage counselling to this fellow. We don't want that, do we? No. Have a good night with us, Dorothy. And Joe, thank you very much indeed. Have a good time. Very good. Right. Okay, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Come on. We'll get on with the game. We've got the board there. We've got our spinning bin here with all the questions. There they are, waiting to be answered. All right, let's look at the contestants. Questions in the first round. £30 each they are. Come on, Jeff. let's see what we can do for Don. Sport, please. We'll try for you, sir. Sport we're looking at. No problem. £50 you've got. For another £30, Jeff. Hobbs and Sutcliffe were a famous partnership. In what sport? Cricket. Cricket. No hesitation at all. Well done. Gives you £80. You're going well. Come on, Eddie, for Ron. Uh, affairs, Jim, please. Affairs. We'll try it for you, sir. We will indeed. And he's gone into history. Just snatched it a little bit there. Just relax a little bit, Ron, with plenty of time. Eddie, for £30. In 1936 to 1939, a civil war took place which is now generally regarded as one of the lead-ups to World War II. In which country was this war? Spain. Spain is right. Gives you £30. Well done. Come on now, young Dorothy. What about it for your son-in-law? Uh, spelling, please. We'll try it for you, sweet. We'll try it. That's fine. A £50 bonus you've got. So, come on. Here we go, Dorothy. If you have a television, you need an aerial. Please spell aerial. A-E-R-I-E-L. And I can offer it. And I'm going to offer it to Jeff. A-E-R-I-A-L. It's right. The E you put in was in the wrong place. I thought you might have had trouble with the other one. You're right there. Gets you £30. Fine. The end of the first round. Don and Jeff with £110. Ron and Eddie with £30. Joe and Dorothy, £50. Up the questions go. £50 each they're worth now. And the subjects are there to be hit. The ones that are lit you can choose. Come on, Jeff. I'll try places, please, Jim. Places we'll try and get for you, sir. £50 questions we're looking at. £50 bonus you've got. Well done. For another £50, Jeff. If you were shopping in the department store called Gum, spelt G U M, which city would you be in, Jeff? New York. You wouldn't, and Dorothy may know. Moscow. Moscow is right. Gets you £50, so you're back in the hunt again. Come on, Eddie, for Ron. Uh, affairs, Jim, please. Affairs will try for you. Flashing to help you, Ron. £30 bonus you've got. For another 50 Eddie. Who is the General Secretary of CND? Take your time. Vicar. Um... You are right. I can say no more. <laughs> and you've been bullied out of it, so we're across to Jeff, whose light's on. Sorry, it's gone, Jim. No, it's gone. Never mind. We can understand it. It's Bruce Kent. Monsignor Bruce Kent. <laughs> Never mind. We move on. Come on, Dorothy, for Joe. Uh, potluck, please. Potluck will try. Let's see if you're being smiled on tonight. Potluck we're looking at. He's there again. £50 you've got again. Dorothy, you're going well. Here we go. A little bit different this for you, Dorothy. Listen carefully. Listen to this film theme. There is the film theme. Who wrote the book on which the film is based. So work out the film and then tell me the author of the book. And bullies come in to end all your chances and there's a red light on. We come across to Jeff. No, it's gone, Jim, sorry. OK, never mind, I can understand that. The film was Jaws and the author you were looking for was Peter Benchley. OK, so there we are at the end of round two. The scores, Don and Jeff, £160, Ron and Eddie, £60, Joe and Dorothy, £150. It can all check. Yes, why not? Why not? Good. Going very well. Still, 
Very, very tight, because as you know now, these questions very valuable. £100 each, so who's it going to be going through? Let's look at the board. We've got left show business, books, words and Britain. Come on for the last time in this part of the game, Jeff. For Dom. Showbiz, please. We'll try that for you, sir. Show business we're looking at for the £100 question. He's not let you down either. £50 you've got, Jeff. For another £100, what is the name of the current hit Broadway musical in which Twiggy sings and dances? Is it My Fair Lady? It is not. I can offer it, and there's Eddie with a light on. Is it Cats? It's not. It is called My One and Only. Yes. Never mind. Come on, Eddie. Carry on. Um, Britain, please, Jim. Britain will try for you. Britain we're looking at for £100 and to keep you in with a shout. Yeah. It's books. We can ask the question for £100 because it's still there. For £100, Eddie, Cider with Rosie tells of the author's childhood in the Cotswolds. Who wrote Cider with Rosie? It's a hundred pound question, so we're not giving it away. We've no lights on. <coughs> Bullies come in to end your chances, and we've no light, not even a guess. It was Laurie Lee. Dorothy knew it by the look of things as well. Come on, Dorothy, your turn. <laughs> uh, words, please, Jim. Words. It's still lit for you, Dorothy, so you're entitled to it. Here we go. Words for a hundred pounds. And he's done well for you tonight, that son-in-law of yours, hasn't he? Fifty pounds he's got you. For another hundred pounds, Dorothy. The adjective lupine, spelt L-U-P-I-N-E, refers to wolves. Which animal does vulpine refer to? Sawtaps. V-U-L-P-I-N-E. No light on. Yes, we have. Sawtaps. <coughs> Bullies come in. Can't repeat the question, but we can offer it to Eddie. Is it uh, wolves? I thought it was wolves, but you said the other one was wolves. It is not wolves. The adjective lupine refers to wolves. Vulpine refers to foxes. So there we are. At the end of that part of the game, we've got £210 to Don and Jeff. Ron and Eddie, £60, and Joe and Dorothy still in there with £200. So with £60, we lose the Stockport, lads. Come on, in you come, boys. <laughs> Well, they were just weren't dropping in three words. Yeah. Never mind, Rob. Right. You have your darts and your bullseye embroidered you. badge with our compliments, right. and you've got there sixty pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll keep the rest of this because with a bit of luck, we'll lose some more of this tonight. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming, lads. Thanks. Stay with us and have a drink afterwards, and right. we may well need you at the end. All right, give them a round of applause. Thank the two you. lads. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Part two of the game. You know it by now, the board's revolving to re reveal the normal match play dartboard head-to-head -head confrontation here. Three rounds of darts. Come on, lads. Pounds for points. <coughs> Up to the hockey, Don. Joe standing, mate. And over to Tony. OK, Don, first round. Press the block. So one. A five. And a 20, so that's 26. 26 to beat, Joe. So one, 20. Another 20, 41, which takes the first round. OK, for 41 pounds, here we go, Dorothy. 41 pounds it gives you this and takes you into the lead. One end of the spectrum is red. What colour is the other? Violet. Violet is right. Hence, mm -hmm. ultraviolet and infrared. You're right, you've got 41 pounds. 241 playing 210. Back to Tony. Second round. Done throwing, 31 points behind. 20. So one. Another 20, so that's 41 for Don. And there it is, Joe, 41 to beat. 20. Another 20. And another 20, 60. Takes a second round. Well, Dorothy, £60, pounds, this to take you nicely into the lead. General knowledge with a, a slight male bias, but it, it is general knowledge. The first cricket test match was played between England and Australia at Melbourne in 1877. Don't let that put you off. This is the question. Can you name three other test cricket playing countries? Three other countries who play test cricket. India. India. West Indies. West Indies, one more. You can, don't panic, you'll know it. New Zealand. New Zealand is right. Well done. Pakistan is the other. 
Very well done, Dorothy. Super. <laughs> you really did very well there. 301 playing 210 the last time. Back to Tony. Here we go. Final round. 91 behind. Done. It's a treble 5, 15. It's a 20. And a treble 20. That's 95. <laughs> 95 to beat, Joe. 20. A 5. And the 20 45, so the final round to Young Don. Listen very carefully to this question, Jeff. What is meant by describing a tree as deciduous? Deciduous. Does it leaf and have flowers? I'm sorry, you, you were bullied out of it, so we can offer it across to Dorothy. It loses its leaves in winter. That is exactly right, it gets you 45 pounds. Ooh. Gives us there. Uh, yes. Jeff very sportingly applauding Dorothy there. She had a hard ride there, but she managed it. But we've got to say cheerio to the boys with £210 because it doesn't live with 346 Come on in, you come, lads. Don and Jeff, give them a round of applause. Very, very good. <laughs> there you both are. Thank you, boys. Don't leave us, will you? Because we may well need you at the end of the evening. One hundred, two hundred and ten pounds There it is. We'll be back in two minutes if you'd like to join us. See you then. Thank you.